Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So the latest version of GNOME, GNOME 3.28, has just been released. And so today, I'm going to actually do a quick review and features tour. And the easiest way for me to do that was to actually install the latest version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver, because it already has GNOME 3.28 installed. So if we go here to settings and look at details, there it is. But obviously the only thing is Ubuntu has obviously modified GNOME 3.28 to make it look more Unity-like. And so what I want to do here is I want to get into a pure GNOME 3.28 desktop environment. So what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of terminal work. So let me go ahead and open up the terminal. And we're going to install GNOME Session. So what we do is sudo apt install and then install GNOME Session. And we're going to go ahead and put in our password and yes install it okay now that it's been installed let's go ahead and restart our session so i'm actually going to power it off completely to make sure all the install is working and then let's go ahead and start it back up okay when we get back into the login menu when you click on your user just go to your gear icon right here and now you'll notice an option for gnome and not just ubuntu so we're going to go ahead and choose this right here Gonna go ahead and put in my password okay once you get logged in you might be actually surprised that your desktop is completely empty but don't worry this is actually how vanilla gnome works and so if you're not used to the whole gnome interface and environment let me go ahead and give you a quick tour so the first thing you want to do is go up here to activities and there is your taskbar here you're going to see your favorite programs your file explorer and your applications now if you go to the right you see your workspaces so for example if i had something open in this workspace and then i could go back here go to the second workspace you could have something else open here and so you obviously have two different workspaces that you can actually work with or more than that okay so we'll go back here and there you go okay so that's how that works now in terms of the actual user interface for gnome it is very simple and it's pretty clean in my opinion and it's fast okay so the main place you're going to be spending your time is show applications if you click on that it will default to frequent but I just click on all and a lot of people use the search functionality here and that's one of the main things that GNOME emphasizes is the whole search functionality and so you could easily look up programs just by searching for it okay now one thing that I did notice with Ubuntu 18.04 is that it didn't have some of the default programs that I thought it should have and so I did have to install these manually so the programs I had to install was boxes photos and usage okay so now that I had all of those installed let's go ahead and talk about the features that have been updated in GNOME 3.28 and starting with the settings itself now I won't be going over all the features just the ones that I think were important and the ones that I think GNOME really wanted to highlight okay so the first thing is your on-screen keyboard if you go to universal access you could turn on your on-screen keyboard and then whenever you open up a program that will actually utilize an on-screen keyboard then it'll automatically pop up as you see right there this is a very simple keyboard there's really not much to it but it does the job you know it just is a very clean user interface right here for the keyboard and you could minimize it anytime you like and, you know anytime you actually go on to an application that actually requires it it'll come back up again and since GNOME 3.28 and just most Linux distros does already have support for touchscreen devices this would be very handy whenever you need it okay so that is the first update second to that is actually better support for your Thunderbolt devices your USB type C and also better support for Bluetooth low energy devices and as we go down further there's also ways that you could actually control uh, metered connections as well so if you click on this settings right there you could control uh, your actual data usage as well and so this might be important is if you're in a country where your internet is actually metered now other things that are on here uh, that might not be a new feature but that I really do appreciate is the fact that under your devices uh, you could actually use this nightlight feature which will actually adjust the brightness and contrast on your screen so that it doesn't hurt your eye and so this is really nice that this is already a built-in feature 
And as you can see here, it also has built-in support for Wacom tablets as well. And as you can see here, the rest of this whole settings menu, it's very easy, very clean to use. I do appreciate that GNOME makes it a really newbie friendly in my opinion, okay? So it's not quite as feature rich as some you know, desktop environments, but I like the fact that they kept things that actually make sense, okay? Now another update was actually to the user management. If you actually go to details and go under users, you could actually choose a different avatar here. So it's not a huge feature, but it is there and some people might like that as well. Now within the settings, I think those are the main features that they did update. Now let's go ahead and move into the other program updates that they actually highlighted in their release notes. So the first thing is boxes. I really do like this program because what it will allow you to do is actually add a variety of different operating systems all through this interface. So here you could actually choose some default ones or you could download from a long list of pre-defined and you know pre-selected distros. You know a lot of these are Linux based but there's also BSD as well and right now you can see it's just a lot of variation of the same version. So maybe later on in the future they'll add even more than that. Okay. But you do have a lot of flexibility in where you get your actual operating system, okay? You could actually enter a URL for whatever distro that you wanted or operating system. Or you can also select a file that you downloaded from your computer, okay? So this is really nice to have this already built in. Um, now, it's probably not going to be as, you know, maybe as fully featured as something like a virtual box. However, it does allow you to easily get a different distro, try it out all from one source. So I really do like this feature. Now, another update is actually to the photos program. Now for here, you can be able to import photos from your camera or video camera a lot quicker. I don't have one to show you here, uh, but it does have some nice features whenever you do get some photos here. And then finally, there is a usage app as well it's still in I would say still in the testing phase and so uh, it does have a lot of things that people are familiar with when it comes to like a task manager or you know a disk usage analyzer but once again you know it makes it really easy to use uh, I do like the fact that they keep things simple and it's clean you know that's something that's very much appreciated and I think the final program update that they had was actually with calendar okay so it does look nicer you know, it does look clean and it also has this right here where it has a weather feature as well and it could actually pull weather information based upon your location. Okay, so overall these are the main updates to GNOME 3.28. I myself like the fact that it is very fast, it's very clean and it's easy to use and that's always a good thing. You know, in terms of the actual program updates, um, I think all of these make sense, you know, and then also the little tweaks here and there, there were actually updates to the file explorer as well. However, uh, this version of Ubuntu 18.04 does not have the latest version of Nautilus. And so it didn't ha not have the whole favorites feature as well. And so overall, GNOME 3.28, it is a nice fresh change. And I would not be hesitant to actually use this new version of GNOME as my default desktop environment. Because as I said earlier, you know, the user interface, uh, it's very simple, you know, it's very clean, you know, and it, it is fast. And so if you actually had any thoughts on GNOME 3.28, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.